Well, I think what is really damaging and what actually is a new all-time low here in this country is effectively preventing him from coming, because that's what's happened. And people like Jeremy Corbyn and Sadiq Khan, who have threatened mass uprising and protest, if he arrives, that, that's got to deter any president or any politician from coming to this country. Well, and no, I can imagine many presidents and leaders would expect there to be some form of protest. I mean, Piers has mentioned a whole series of people, and when people have an issue with those visits, they are entitled to protest them. That shouldn't put someone off coming. I think it's, it's worse than that. He went, of course, to France and Germany, and there were protests in both of those mm -hmm. countries, and he'd been to other countries Actually, around the world. Actually, very minimal. And, yeah, I indeed, mean, in France, indeed, hardly indeed. any protests. But nevertheless, there were protests. And... I think, I think he probably sees Britain as different to probably every other country in the world because we're such a close friend of the United States and have been traditionally. And I think people like Sadiq Khan, who not only does all that he can to prevent Trump coming here and then glories when he decides not to come, Sadiq Khan is the problem here. Sadiq Khan is the man that should resign over this terrible state of affairs. We, we don't stop, we don't stop heads of state coming to our country. Mm. We have to do diplomatic relations with them. We have to cooperate and work the with these countries. The thing that distinguishes, I think, the President of America from the list of people that, that Piers mentioned is that our values are supposed to align with those of the United States. And the comments that um, Ms. Trump has made about immigration, about women, um, the, the most recent comments he's made about... Uh, uh, you know, certain African countries don't seem to align with our values. And I think that's what the protesters are making a point about. Well, I don't want to sink to the level of the likes of Sadiq Khan and Jeremy Corbyn by, by commenting even on the President of the United States or Donald Trump's detailed tweets, what he says. It, it, his well, actions, his actions are more important than his words. You wouldn't want to defend them. I wouldn't be interested in defending them. It's not my job to defend them. I'm not one of his electorate. But what I would be interested in is the President of the United States coming to this country. He is our closest ally. We have gained a huge amount by our relationship with America. We stand in the future to gain a huge amount. I, I've fought with American troops on the same side as American troops. I know how important the relationship is between Britain and America in everything we do. America intervened in the First World War, the Second World War, the Marshall Plan saved Europe, right. they built NATO up. All of these very, very important things are due to our relationship with the Americans. Ken, Ken Sadiq Khan and, yeah. uh, and Jeremy Corbyn interfering with that relationship and, and, and really disrupting the relationship is, is going to be hugely Let me bring back Ken 